You're watching WMAR 2 News. Two sisters from Maryland are recovering after they were victims of a stabbing spree on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. Gabrielle and Cassandra Hughes were among several people injured in that attack last week. Two people were killed. The suspect, Yanni Berrios, appeared in court on Tuesday. Police say he asked to pose for a picture with a group of showgirl impersonators and then attacked them. He told police that he thought the victims were making fun of him. Berrios is now being held without bail. There is a GoFundMe page that's been set up for the Hughes sisters to help with medical costs, and we have a link to that posted on our website. The prosecution has filed a new motion in the federal case against Marilyn Mosby. They are now asking the judge to create what they're calling a narrowly tailored order to prevent her team from speaking to the media about the trial. They cite the news conference that one of Mosby's attorneys, A. Scott Bolden, did outside the federal courthouse in downtown Baltimore last month, where he used an expletive when expressing his frustration about the trial being moved again. The prosecutors claim in the motion that the remarks made to the media are attempts to sway potential jurors. Mosby is being charged with perjury and making false statements on mortgage applications. Her trial is set for March 27th of next year. Well, for the second time now, the Fells Point Fun Festival is being pushed back. Originally, this was supposed to happen the first weekend of the month, but organizers were concerned about the remnants of Hurricane Ian, so they moved it to the end of the month, October 28th through the 30th. Well, now the dates have been changed again to November 4th through the 6th. Organizers did not say why they made this change. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good morning, Maryland. Temperatures today climb into the upper 60s and the lower 70s, so right where we should be for this time of year. However, we'll see more filtered sunshine as we progress through the afternoon. Not as much sunshine as yesterday, unfortunately, and winds will turn a little bit breezy. But we have the potential for severe weather for tomorrow as a cold front slides through. Gusty winds will be the main threat, and there also is a very low threat for a tornado. It is low but it's not zero. So tomorrow, all modes of severe weather are fair game. You want to make sure you keep checking radar and stay up to date with us as we continue to watch this cold front progress. <laughs> Drier for your Friday and then a very tranquil weekend is expected with highs in the low 70s. Megan. All right, Stevie, thank you and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for your news and weather while you're on the go. You can download the WMAR2news app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.